In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a video with pictures and music in Adobe Express. So you're going to be able to create something like this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go to Adobe Express. Make sure you're logged in. Make sure you're on the correct app. It should be free. Now, what you need to do is go to the plus icon in the top left hand corner, then go to video. Now, you need to now choose if you want a mobile video or a landscape video. This will obviously depend on how you're planning on sharing your video. For me, I'm going to choose a landscape video in 1920 by 1080 format. But if you're trying to share a video on phone on maybe Instagram Reels, then this format is better. Click on Browse Templates and you can choose from a template if you wanted to. But for most of you, you're probably going to want to start from scratch. So click Start from Scratch here. Now, Adobe Express can be a bit fiddly. But if you follow these instructions, you should be good to go and you should be able to do this relatively easily. So we can close out of this. And what you want to do is go to your stuff and then click upload from device. Now, by doing this, we can go ahead and choose the files, the photos and also the audio track that you want to use. Perhaps you want to use the built in audio tracks available on Adobe Express, which is fine as well. But I've got my own, so I'm going to just add that. We'll just leave the audio track separate for now though. What I'll do is I'll just highlight all of the images. So I've got five images, we'll click open and we can go ahead and then add as a scene in sequence. So if you click add, it's gonna add them as a scene. Now each of these scenes is gonna be five seconds. We can change this later. Just give it a second to load and just to render your images properly. So once you've got all of your images in, what you can do is you can move them around. So let's say you wanted this image first. We can just drag this to the first slide. Now you can do the same. You can change the order of any of these. Now by default, if we just played the video now, it is going to actually be a video. But there are some things that you will want to tweak like this time. You also want to add in transitions between the two images and add the audio. Let's play it here. It will just be very simple. Five seconds one photo, five seconds to the other one. Now, what we can do is we can click on this switch views icon, then go to scene view. And this is going to make this a lot more simpler and easier to edit. Now, if you go to an image, you then click on duration. You can then set the duration to any second that you want. I'm going to change it to three seconds and we can then apply that to all scenes. So now everything is going to change to three seconds. So we'll only play the photo for three seconds. We can then go to transitions down here at the bottom. And you can choose a transition that you want. Maybe you just want your images to dissolve into each other. And if you click on the settings, you can then choose how long you want the, the transition to be. I'll just change it to like a second here. And then we can click apply to all scenes. So now we've done that. Now every photo is going to nicely transition into the other one. Now if we go back to the switch views and then go to selected layer, we can now go ahead and add audio. If you click on add audio, you can choose any of the built-in audio tracks on Adobe Express, but I've got one, so I'm gonna click upload from device. We can then choose the MP3 file, we'll click open, and it will add it here to your video. Now, once you've got the audio selected, you can get that to fade in and out, which I would recommend, and you can then choose a duration for that too. You can also turn down the volume, perhaps the volume will be too loud. Now, once you've essentially added that, I would play it, make sure it's all good. So there we go, mine is playing very nicely. I quite like this video. So now we're gonna go download in the top right hand corner and then we'll download as an MP4 in the original resolution 1080p. Click on download and it will then start that download. Once it's downloaded, it will be obviously in your downloads folder. You can go ahead and open this, play it and share it with whoever you want. 